Hi, so in this video, we are going to know about sorting in details. So please keep watching till the last because we have very interesting things to cover in this video. So we will take this data into Power Query. I'll get rid of this changes step. Now, the best base way or you know easy way to sort the data, like you can just say, okay, short ascending. So I can say, okay, short ascending. Now, if you look at this data, the previous row, you can see this. I do have A C A, but uh, with a small letter A. Now, if I look at this data, that is not present in this section. And if I go scrolling down, then I can see, okay, this A C A is at the end. Okay. And if you look at this step code, you can see that table dot sort. This is source, and this is the order column and how it should be sorted. Now. Problem is that say okay sort ascending sort descending right in this way and you can specify multiple column in this way. Now the thing is that the main point of this video is that how we can do the sorting using case insensitive. Okay, and if you go in the Power Query a reference, so if you look at this website. Then if I go into this table dot sort, I'll see that comparison criteria as any. So this is like, you know, and we don't have any example where you can say, okay, let's compare this as a case insensitive or something like that. So we don't have that option by default. So what we need to do, we need to find a way to do this. Compare region will be case sensitive or case insensitive. Okay, and this example doesn't help any way for that one. So what you can do, you can just specify the column name and their order, like order dot ascending and order dot descending. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how to do this case insensitive sorting. Before that, if you like my video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get my all the latest video. Okay, so what we need to do, we'll try to understand what this part is doing. Table dot sort, and then it's saying that comparison criteria as any. So this comparison criteria, it can be it's saying that list of one or more column names, an optional comparison criteria in the form column one and then comparison criteria column two and then comparison ID criteria and so on. So in this way. This is not helping in any way. So what we need to do, I'll try to sort this data without any case consideration, only for the first single column, and then we'll uh, try to do this yeah, both column. So we can get rid of this part. Do this sorting based on you know after convert this text into an uppercase. So all this here will be considered as a same text, right? So you can say text to upper. And this is going to be the field access of the record and get rid of everything else. So now you can see that ACA is under this particular section and it's it doesn't consider the case because we converted that into upper cache. We can just do the lower as well. But if we do the lower, then we get like this so uh, both are okay so we are just converting text to uppercase or lowercase and then we're doing the comparison so that's how this is being made as a case incentive insensitive now you may think that okay this is case insensitive but what we need we need to do the sorting as a descending order instead of ascending or something like that so for that we can just say water dot ascending and look at this this is ascending so we can just say descending and look at this that sub-saharan africa is at the top and asia is at the bottom right so this is how we make the case is sensitive can say what type of ordering we need okay so this is that uh, custom function and we don't have any documentation saying about this that how to convert this into case insensitive or not now 
you may think that okay this is for one column how can we do this sorting for multiple column you know based on multiple columns so I consider this one and then sort based on the country again or item type or something like that so for that this is need to be a list of function or criteria so this is first criteria or first column criteria now we need to add another column criteria and this need to be a nested list so we can just say each in the same way we can say text dot upper and then you can just specify the field access so if it's country then you can specify the country if it item type then you can specify that one as well now we can say water dot instead of descending you can say ascending right and look at this if we run this then you can see that okay sub-saharan africa is at the top and in the ascending order the country is in the ascending order right so this is how you may make this case insensitive you may short this entire data set based on multiple column also you can specify the ascending or descending order okay and one more interesting thing that i want to point out in this video that you can use any function any custom function in this section as well so let's say i can just create a new function other source and blank query so convert so let's say given is input text as text and this will return let's say i'm just using the text at upper in uh, inside of my custom function but uh, we can have custom implementation like you know remove those you know unnecessary characters and do the sorting use any your custom algorithm you want now input text and this is returning me as a text right so this could be my custom function fx custom example or something like this and i can invoke this function instead of text dot upper so i can just say okay give me this and i invoke this instead of the built-in function and you can see this is refreshing the preview right or uh, refresh all you can do this so basically you can use any custom function you want and you can specify the border you can make this shorting you know custom short way so that's the dynamic example of this table dot sort and this is what i wanted to share with you guys thank you for watching if you like my video please hit the subscribe button and happy power reading <laughs>